to your brother. She drove him to commit suicide. We don't know what happened between the two of them. But Ruthie was crazily in love with her. And if she did anything, it would affect him that much. Maybe he caught her with another man. Maybe she broke his heart. But I know she drove him to commit suicide. Well, I, I thought it was some sort of coincidence. What was I to know? I showed you her pictures, Raymond. And I told you she's an enemy to this family. She, she kind of looked different in the pictures. Raymond. You won't ever speak one single word to that girl ever again in your life. I forbid you. I don't want to see him. What do I tell him? Just tell him I said I don't want to see him. I don't, I can't see him now. I don't want to see this man, please. Man, are you okay? Jonah, just tell him what I said. I don't want to see him. Okay, ma'am. brother's death or to be killed like I killed your brother. <laughs> you are the murderer, Georgina. Neither my killer. Well, 
what am I? I'm Jin Long. But you're definitely not the killer. I've been guided by my instincts all my life. You're not one. That's the reason I'm going to ask this question just once. Once. Did you kill my brother? Directly or indirectly? No. I didn't kill Murphy. He found out that he, he was HIV positive and committed suicide. I was heartbroken because I love Murphy so much. Search is things you may find the result there. I don't know. who took away your brother's life. What has come over you, Raymond? What is it? Jen? What spell has come over you? Didn't you see any other girl in town? Must she be the only girl you're going to get friendly with? Look at her. This is, this is enough, okay? She didn't kill Murphy. Then who did? Tell me who did. Explain to me how a healthy young man with a sound mind, we just wake up one morning and decide to hang himself and kill himself. If not that he was driven to it by some love of business frustrations. And you know that the family business is doing very well. So it wasn't the family business, it was Georgina! It was not Georgina! No Murphy wasn't that healthy. He had HIV. Now he couldn't deal with it, so he hung himself! Who told you that? Georgina did. Kills my son. It is not enough for her. She is seducing my only surviving son. It is still not enough for her. She has to dishonor the dead by spreading false HIV news. I will not allow it. You know what? There's something that really baffles me. How, how did Georgina kill, kill her? Did she kill, kill her with a bang hand? With a gun? In life, perhaps? How? Oh, come on, my son. Don't you ever underestimate the power of a woman. Because that power has got you. She's got you. You know what, Mom? I've had enough of this. I'm going off this right now to look through my office stuff. We gotta find some kind of proof. I think it's time you stop. Really? Just stop, Mom!
Neither do I know how to handle things. But I must admit that um, it's been very demanding on my emotions. Very demanding. I'm attracted to you. I love your writing. It's so easy to see what Murphy saw in you. Well, let me say that um, I see a lot of Murphy in you. And naturally, it makes me attracted to you too. Murphy was wild, you know, free-spirited, ready to experiment with life. But you, you're cool, religious, diplomatic, and inside, a rebel. I like you. You know, when two people feel the way we feel, it's best we do the right thing. I'm a born again. I absolutely believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm happy you do too. That make our ideologies one and the same. And when you feel what we feel in order to um, avoid um, fornication, it is best to um, you get married. Make it permanent. You can't, it, trust me, I know what I'm doing. I know your heart know, knows I'm doing the right thing. Okay. Sit down, talk this thing over. Talk what over? over. Okay. Talk what over, Raymond? Don't, don't. Get out. No. Mom, don't go about to sit down. Sit down. Okay. Get out of my house. Mom, don't. Right now. Oh, for crying Get out. out. Mom, stop this, okay? Don't worry. I'll walk things out, okay? You don't have to worry about now. Get out of my house. What have you done? going on. Had I know earlier, I would have made that time to visit your mom and explain to her from the viewpoint of the Bible. Our oh, brother John, I appreciate the way you feel. But you see, we felt the fewer people that knew about this, the better. 
it's a, it's a matter for the heart, the family matter. And um, we also felt we couldn't get the fellowship involved until we were ready to say, I do. I do. If Georgina had died as a result of a wicked blow to her head, I wonder what we'd be saying by now. Georgina, Georgina, leave Raymond and his family alone so that you will live long. They have bad luck. They have uh, They have bad luck. Oh, do I have water in my mouth? Auntie, don't talk like this now, please. I'm going home. Raymond, that charm that you and your family have used on my sister's daughter, use it well. When you kill her, bring her cubs back to me and I will shake you. Georgina. Oh. Well, Brother Raymond and Sister Georgina, never mind. Um, Brother Raymond, I hope she is continuing with her medication. Oh, yes, ma'am. She's been taking her drugs quite well. Good. Now, I am coming to, with you with, to your place. I'm going to meet your mother and speak with her. Okay, but perhaps I can arrange you some other time. Perhaps. She's not going to yes. Good. Uh, let us pray. In Jesus' name. Noticed I came in a different car. Yeah, okay, but it's, it's, it's a lovely car. Yeah, a little rugged, I'll fix it. Trust me. But really, I've seen you in like three different cars, and this one doesn't ring a bell. Hey, look, let me explain the history of this car. See, okay. this car has been lying around idle factory grounds. See, the manager was using it until he bought his car recently. So Here. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? I'm just to figure it out. No. Okay. See, I know you don't have a car. And you need something to push you around. So, I brought it. Here, the keys. It's yours. Raymond, are you out of your mind? Do you want your mother to kill me? My mother doesn't know. She hardly comes to the factory. Wait, uh. Look, don't, don't do this, babe. Believe me, I went through a great deal of trouble getting this car. Believe me, you, you really... But, but the workers love me. They wouldn't tell her. Baby, you have to have this car. Let me explain why you have to have this car. Hold, hold it. Get 
Come, come. Are we loud? Come, we are all good. Hey! I need you to do a job for me. Come inside. for the keys. Car keys. You and Raymond. You must be out of your minds to think that you can fool me. And you, most especially, you are very stupid to think that you can enrich yourself on the wealth of my household. Now, hand over the car keys to me. Step aside. Get me the car, please. You follow me. like this since I left in the morning? Yes. Doctor sedated her again. The pain was too much. The more she sleeps, the less pain she feels.
need a body like you. To be what you mean is happiness. It means trust. It means being complete like a man. I know there's nothing I can change it. I'm helpless without you. with the swans I bought for you. Let me tell you something. You have to stop this. 
Because if anything happens to that girl, believe me, as she's dying, you're bearing another son. I'm going to kill myself. anything the matter? Yes. Look, a fellowship leader, I really need to ask you some questions. Look, must I, must I obey and respect my mother at all times, even if, she, if I know she's wrong? Yes. I mean, I, will God be angry if I hit her back, especially when she hits me? Brother Raymond, never raise your hand against your mother. It is an abomination before God Almighty. It's also an abomination for any mother to put her son through what she's putting me through. I Come know. on, she's harming the woman I love and I'm helpless. There's nothing I can do about it. I know. Calm down, Brother Remote. Well, how is Sister Chardina responding to treatment? Not too good, I'm afraid. I know her leg is really, really bad. The oh. doctors are not telling me much. Jesus. But I remind you, you need to pray with me for Sister Georgina. I can see darkness. The Spirit has just moved me to do so. Please, let us pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father. and slut did not have matters either. Presently, she has gathering infection in both legs. We had to amputate both legs from the knee down to save her life. I will lose her. I listen to you. I'm talking to you. <laughs> That's the situation. Oh my God.
baby. Please pray for me to die. I can't live like a stump of wood without my legs completely dependent, totally disabled. But you will not die. Stop talking nonsense. I'm going to wait for you here and take good care of you when you come out. You'll never be a burden to me, baby. You know that. I know I'll live in your memory forever. But physically, I'm already dead. I've lost interest in fighting to live. Georgina is gone. Ask of me next week and they'll show you a grave. Don't die. Have faith in that. Have faith in us. Just go there and come out and I'll give you all the love on earth. Okay? I love you. Goodbye, my love. See you later, baby. Right here because I need to go see her. Doctor, what's happening? Mr. Emma. Yeah. I'm sorry. Master. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? She's crazy. She's what? I just saw her. I just saw her. She, 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 she just cro cro crossed through here right now. She, she can't be dead. She just crossed through here right now. So happy this girl is dead. I can't wait. I can't wait to tell her. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you help me out, please? Can you help me out? Hey, hey, come here, come here, man. It's okay, man. It's okay. Hey, it's okay. Don't hold it. You did what you had. To. Okay. I just, I just saw a girl right here. You told me she's dead. All right, man. Take it easy, okay? Oh man. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> you should see your face, man. <laughs> see, you open this 
Don't get I'll see you around again. <laughs>